Welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel number two. This should be video number 143. So let's continue through this. We're with you all the way, but we will always worry, you know? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. What was it that made you come here? Crow? <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I'm happy you did, but... Uh -huh. Oh, I'd completely forgotten too. I just came to ask if there was anything I could do to help tomorrow, seeing as it's another free day. Yep. But you've only just come back. And besides, tomorrow's your... That's all the more reason I want to spend tomorrow's free day the same way I spent all of the others. It wouldn't feel like our final free day is class 7 if it were any different. <laughs> well, if you say so. Okay. Oh. I do have a few things in mind, so I'll just drop them into your mailbox in the dorm like I always do. And thanks for offering. Okay. To carry all your groceries again. Boy's voice. Who is this boy? What? Or everyone, it looks like. Didn't expect to run into you. It's nice. <laughs> Celine's right there. Crazy coincidence, huh? Heading back to the dormitory too. Yep, that was the idea. Nice. We all head back together. Oh, I'm gonna speed this ahead. There's the church. Hmm. It's nice seeing the flowers as they start to bloom. As I said earlier, that'll be in full bloom in a week. But I'm thinking it'll be closer to the end of the month, personally. Yep. Welcoming ceremony. The new students will be able to begin their academic lives here surrounded by Lino flowers just as we did. Damn. Nobody else started partway in the year like you did. But back then I never could imagine that we'd get along this well. Yeah, rocky start. <laughs> Especially Machias and Eusis. Yeah. Yep. They didn't really get along. Damn. But you know, they're still rivals. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Makes fools of even the best of us at times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that expression? Standing on the moral high ground, either. And this is where I stop if I would have accidentally turbo mode. Keep looking down your nose at me. Jeez. Did you not hear me say the best of us? Yep. There it goes again. It was hell on us. On all of us uh, at the time, but it was. It's just all. Spawn memory now. Sorry, my lack of read. I just. Oh my god, I, I keep thinking about Crow, I'm sorry. I'll try to concentrate on this, man. My reading's terrible. I suppose the same could be said about your little incident at the start of the year. Oh yeah, with Alyssa. Yep. <laughs> Just had to bring that up, didn't you? Yep, again. Yeah, the boobies. <laughs> sorry. Little incidents are my favorite. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh wow, Milliam haven't even known yet? Not yet? Don't you dare. She's the last person who needs to know. Yeah. Milliam. Damn. <laughs> I want to know what happens if uh, if you would have let her know, but... She would have been laughing out loud so much. She really was full of surprises. Man, I feel so bad when I first played through on the I didn't talk to Gaius in the church in the first game. I didn't even do, like, check everyone around. I was skipping ahead through the main story, you know. Something through the hole in the floor. Yep. Wow. That's where Reen had to help Alyssa there. Even without having a fight, a gargoyle. Yeah, on the way out. That's a pretty memorable start to a school year. Quite the opponent too. Yeah, we, we could kill like a lot of them now. We are strong. That's just a stone gargoyle. Yep, this is the first time when they link up 
something like that, I don't know. Uh-huh, yep. Laura just overkilled it. <laughs> uh, Instructor Sarah. Yeah, that was back then when there's no Milium and Crow. It was that was how our class began. Yep, it's burned into all of our memories at this point. Hmm. It's one of the memories that I'll cherish decades into the future. <laughs> Man, Million wanted to join, but you know now it's my turn to do something crazy and make some super memorable memories too. <laughs> Don't you dare. Yeah, like some crazy stuff. She's thinking when she says something crazy. Yep. Like the most craziest thing she did, I remember, was she was jumping on the bed on Rain. What the heck was that? On hopefully unrelated note, what are we gonna do for dinner tonight? Oh, yeah. I, I don't know if, uh, what's her name? Sharon is there. I mean, she's always in the kitchen in the dorm, dorm, you know. Something for ourselves. If we divided up the work between us, I'm sure it'd be quite a bit of her. But if it was Sharon, she could cook, like, really fast. My cooking skills were in danger of getting rusty, too. No objections here. I knew it. I knew Sharon is there. Of course, because you know she is huh? the maid. <laughs> oh. Sharon? Yep, Sharon's back. What reason could you possibly <laughs> have for being here? Remember, she signed up for that being the maid for the uh, dormitories, you know, for class 7. That was way back in cla uh, the first game. <laughs> The chairman gave me her permission to return to my former position as your dormitory's caretaker. Yep, caretaker. Which means I am here to serve you all once more. Nice. There may only be a short time left until the end of the year, but I'll make sure you want for nothing during it. Uh -huh. I've already started preparing your evening meal, so there's no need to go out and buy anything. Wow, she's that fast because, you know, she is one of the... Well, former Ouroboros, she's fast. Oh, well, how about that? I'm fine with this. <laughs> we will gladly accept your offer. <laughs> Sharon's cooking's better than whatever grub we could wrestle up together anyway. Oh, of course. How do you manage to get permission from Mother in the first place, though? Weren't you helping to rebuild the Reinford Group? I thought the company was getting so many orders in, it was struggling to keep up! Now that Master Gwyn has returned to the company, everything is back in order. Oh, nice. He and the chairman have been speeding through one task after another since he got back. Nice. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Because he was retired, but now he's back. So the former and current chairman make quite a team, I see. Yup. Oh. Boy, <laughs> I'm starving. I'm starving? Yeah, right. More like thirsty. Wouldn't mind a drink either. With the weather getting it. warmer, it's just about time for peak beer season. Oh, boy. Huh? What are you guys all gathered out here for? Uh, how'd you not see them when you're walking down that little hill? Oh, why are you here? Uh-oh. It's a pleasure to see you too, Lady Sarah. <laughs> I brought a bountiful supply of smoked oysters and sardines if you'd like a snack to accompany your beer. Would you like them alongside your dinner? Damn, even Sharon knows. Uh, damn it. Yes. <laughs> I'm surprised she can just walk around in public like this. You know, considering her affiliation. <laughs> I'm guessing there's some sort of agreement in place between Reinford and the government to leave her alone. Wow. Though, even if there weren't, I can't imagine anything would be able to stop Sharon from doing what she wants. Oh my god, this game. Well, night time. I haven't even went in there for a long time since like the first game. 
Because the last time, like, when Reen came out after coming back from uh, Crossbell, from that mission. Yep. Whew. I think I might have eaten too much. It's oh. been so long since we last had Sharon's cooking. Man, if I, I want to see Sharon's cooking, it makes me hungry. You know, it's been a long time. I want to see more food. In the first game, like, we, when we go around, like, you know, doing our, um, you know, when we're traveling all over, we get to see, like, all the different food, but not in this game because of the silly war. She hasn't lost her touch. None of it feels heavy on my stomach at all. Well, that's all my work done for the day. Uh -huh. Maybe I should go see how everyone else is doing. Oh, uh, yeah. You can explore Class 7's door right before the free day. Be aware, however, that the story will progress. You should return. Yup, I remember this in the first game. I'm going to sleep. No. Well, I got 24 minutes, so let's try to talk to every... Uh, I can't believe this is a Here's cross... Here's Crow's room. Yup. I think I'll stay away from it for now. Well, why? I feel more like going around and talking to everyone. Well, you think Crow's a ghost and haunting around in that room? I mean, damn. I feel more like talking to everyone right now. I can come back here later. Yeah, this might be the last thing, maybe. I feel more like talking. I can come... Okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> let's talk to... Actually, let's check downstairs first. Of course, Sharon is down there. Huh, what's this room? Oh yeah, this is storage. Oh, Celine, why are you sleeping down here? You should sleep with the. Uh, sleep with. Emma. Oh, there you are. You look bored, Celine. I guess I am. My work's done at this point. I feel like I aged a few decades as soon as the war came to an end. <laughs> Come on now. Hmm. Feels a bit strange to be saying it after the fact, but you fought pretty well over in Crossbell. You've really mastered piloting Valimar. I'd like to think so, anyway. I feel like I could pull off just about anything with him now. And to think, I couldn't do half as much with him when I was first starting out. You do realize you just admitted you were totally useless, right? <sighs> I wonder if you're gonna be okay without us, you know? Valimar must have drawn the short straw to end up with a budding Awakener like you. Hmm. Thanks for worrying about me all the time, Celine. Excuse me, what makes you think I was worried about you? <laughs> Just about everything. From what I can tell, you've always worried about me. Yep. Back in the beginning, when I didn't know anything about piloting, you were always there to guide me through our battles. Oh yeah. I doubt I would have ever come this far if you didn't have my back. So, thank you. For all of it. <sighs> oh. Why do you always have to be like this? <laughs> There are parts of the legends passed down in the clan that not even Emma and I know about. Huh. But just bear this one thing in mind. Divine Knights have incredible power, and they can become devils just as easily as they can become gods. Yeah, just like that one thing and oh my god, that was so ridiculous that fight. Don't worry, I know. And I won't forget. I can't believe you got, you got Crow, man. Anyone in my position needs to know the difference between right and wrong. I'm well aware of that. That's fine then. Anyway, good luck, I guess. If you really need it, I can always come and help out. Damn. I didn't wake you up again. Huh. Okay. And of course, Sharon. Sharon. Sharon, can I have a cup of coffee? Good evening, Master Reen. <laughs> I thought you had already retired for the evening. How would you like for me to put together some supper? Uh, coffee, please? I appreciate the offer, but I think I've eaten more than I should have as it is. Your cooking really is delicious, Sharon. I was starting to miss it after not having it for so long. <laughs> it was my pleasure to cook for all of you again, so I pulled out all the stops with this one. Seeing all of you happily indulging my handiwork always makes every second of preparation worth it. <laughs> Is something the matter, Master Reen? Oh, I was just thinking about how you haven't changed a bit. I'm not sure it's my place to ask, but is everything alright over at Ouroboros? 
Probably no. I can't help but wonder after how things turned out. Vita seems really shocked. I'm afraid I haven't a clue. No word of what's been happening in the society has reached my ears since then. Yeah, because you're, you're retired, right? I have no Former? idea where the second Anguis is now. Huh, yeah, that's, uh... That's Vita, second Anguis. I wonder who's the first one. Nor do I know what happened regarding the Phantasmal Blaze plan after the Chancellor declared he was taking it over. Huh. Phantasmal Blaze plan. <laughs> and quite frankly, none of it is my concern. The answers won't change who I am, and it won't suddenly cause me to shift priorities. Huh. I am and always will be a proud maid of the Reinford family. Okay. Not because of the freedom we enforcers are granted, but because that is simply who I am. Yep. Much like how you being the Ashen Chevalier doesn't change how you are also a proud member of Class 7. <laughs> I suppose you're right. And no matter what happens to you in the future, never lose sight of who you really are. It's almost time for me to return to Ruer. But should you ever need me again, I will gladly rush to your side. Naturally, that includes your relationship with Lady Elisa. Oh. I'll be rooting for the two of you. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known. Oh, I think Sharon saw that kiss, didn't he? Didn't she? Still, thank you. I'm glad you can stay here for a while longer. It was Sharon, right? In that window? I don't know. <laughs> Coffee? Hmm. Yep. Just be who you are and don't lose sight of it. And just don't be like a baby boy. <laughs> Sorry, but... Well, I got like around 18 minutes. So let's talk to the boys. There's Machius. Hey, Machius. Working hard or hard? Let, let me guess. He's gonna say, shh. <laughs> I'll stop you right there. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to turn off the turbo mode. Of course I'm hard at work. Just look at the size of this book. Jeez. If I can't internalize as much of it as possible while I'm here, I'm doomed to failure from the start. Actually, look at the size of that book right there in the left. And this is one of your new textbooks? Man, Heimdall's political academies don't mess around, do they? He'll be the youngest person there, right? Damn. Most likely. I'd normally need to have graduated from Thor's with a bit more experience under my belt to have gotten in. There are a few Thor's grads there already, though. They take some every year. And as you might imagine, the recent political upheaval has the place swarming with applicants this year. The entrance exam was hard enough on its own, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Can't say I envy you. Still, I know you're going to be just fine. You're so smart that you can handle any subject they throw at you. Growing up with your dad should give you a leg up on the politics, too. Wow. Yeah, no pressure there. Honestly, there are times when I think diving into things head first like this is a giant mistake. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. It's just... I know we're probably going to both be really busy with our own lives come spring. Mm -hmm. But let's make time to have lunch together once in a while or something. Okay. Studying is all well and good, but even I need Oops. a change of pace every now and again. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think that can be arranged. The train from here to Heimdall only takes a half hour. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't hang out sometimes. Then it's a date. <laughs> Yeah. It's a lot of books. Guess we'll have to be careful not to burn ourselves out. Ugh. Elliot, my white mage. Hey, Elliot. Taking care of your violin? Yeah. It's taken care of me over the past year, so why not return the favor? I'm actually planning on giving a few of them to the Academy before I go. Just to make sure next year's first years have something to practice with. That's really generous, and sure to make a lot of people happy. And you'll finally be heading off to a music academy, just like you always wanted. Yeah. I bet they'll push you pretty hard over there, too. 
I don't doubt it. I'm going to need to be all music all the time if I want to stand a chance at keeping up. Yep. Though, to be honest, after all the time I've spent here, I don't really want my life to be completely about music. I love it, obviously, but to be a balanced person, I want to have a bit more variety in my life, like I had here at the Academy. True. For one thing, I don't want to get too rusty with my Orbal staff. Good to hear. Yeah, so you can <laughs> defend yourself. I feel bad for Elliot because he's one of the one of my characters I always get KO'd in battle. I hope everything works out for you. Thanks. Me too. Uh Hmm? No, it's nothing. Yeah. Either way, Heimdall and Trista are really close. So don't be a stranger, okay? <laughs> I know you're gonna have tons of work to get through between your classes and your missions, but but... Don't worry, I'll make time. I'm sure we'll have plenty of chances to see each other. There's still a ton of Heimdall I haven't seen, too. You'll have to show me around next time I make it over there. You bet. Well. My character notebook updated. Fiona and my friends over at the Music Academy really helped me out with what I needed to roll there. Practice with them again between tomorrow's flea market and the chance to play with my old friends gotta make sure nice well good luck Elliot <laughs> don't die well until the third game well huh. still painting still painting that cat all right guys Are you finishing up your painting guys that's still nothing on it yeah this is my last one huh Last one? I want to make sure I'm completely satisfied with it before declaring it finished. Hmm. That's understandable. You're going to keep painting once you're back at home though, right? I was expecting you to keep painting until the fourth game or something, or probably there's more than that. Well, I don't know how much time I'll have to set aside for it, but I intend to keep working on it, bit by bit. There's growing reason for concern in Calvert to the east of the Highlands. Hmm. But all in all, things are more peaceful now than they were. I should be able to focus on painting my magnum opus. Magnum opus. Oh, is it going to be ignored? If anyone can make a masterpiece of the Highlands, it'd be you. <laughs> that wouldn't be such a bad idea. But actually, I was intending to paint a picture of the Academy, its students, and the courageous. And everyone. Damn. You mean... Yep. Now you're getting it. I want to capture the day we liberated the Academy. Nice. And once I finished it... I fully intend to return to Erebonia with it in hand. What better way to forever memorialize this place as my second homeland? Man, you really are amazing. Well, if you ever need reference materials, you know who to call. I can get pictures of anything you might need and send them over. I know you're talented, but that's a lot to paint off of just your memory. <laughs> I'd appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, uh, Gaius. Gaius, man. Come back home with me once I'm done. Yep, just like a memory. I mean, the last time in the first game, I think he was painting a picture of when they liberated uh, Nord. Well, not really liberated Nord, you know, when they... in their first field study. Something like that. And then there's, like, something better. Damn. Well, last one should be Eusis. That'd be funny if Eusis' room and Machias were like, uh, you know, next to each other. I wonder why you're looking at the window. Something wrong? Uh, Eusis? Something on your mind, Eusis? Probably it's his dad or Rufus. Because, you know, I didn't know Rufus was iron blood. For the first time in a long time, no. I'm just taking a short break. Uh, looking okay? over an endless sea of documents can be rather tiring on the eyes. Huh. Oh my god. Oh, are those god. the tax reports you mentioned? Wow. Ordinarily, this would be my father's work, but his majesty has yet to decide his fate. Huh. Rufus hasn't so much as glanced in Berea Hard's direction since he took his new job in Crossbell, either. Oh, that's true, yeah. As such, the task falls to me. Yep. I mean, you're the only other son, I mean... Man, I knew everyone in our class had it pretty rough right now. Oh yeah, speaking of... Wait, I wonder what happened to Scarlet over there in Breahar. Did she rest up? Like, what happened to her? You've got it roughest. No contest. <laughs> roughest. Rufus. 
If my ego had its way, I would boast that filling in for my father is a simple and mundane task. Oh. But on top of the paperwork, I'll need to manage the provincial army and oversee the province as a whole. Yeah. Then there's the matter of keeping the most stubborn of the nobility in check. I don't expect the first six months to be pleasant. <laughs> the fact that you're already thinking six months ahead is pretty impressive as it is. Standing in for Duke Alboreo like that must take some real confidence. I know you'll manage, though. <laughs> that much is obvious. Yep, good luck. Hmm. Paperwork is boring, but, you know, gotta do it. What is it? It's nothing. Hmm. In the days to come, more people will be relying on you than ever before. Hmm. But no matter who does so or what they ask, do not lose your pride as a noble. Act independently, your head held high. Yeah, now I see why Rain is a noble, because, you know, it's, uh... I, I oh, that, that guy, man. Maintain Osborne. your pride and your autonomy, and I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks. I promise I will. I'll hold you to that. Yep. Well, that's you, sis. And good luck with all that paperwork. My first six months back in Brayhard will likely be entirely consumed by work. So brother's duties, I have... No choice but to try. Yep. I'll be right back. <laughs> Hold on a second. Alright, sorry about that. I'm back. Um, more distractions. But... Well, let's talk to the girls. And then I'll check Crow's room again? Let's check with instructor Sarah. Sarah should be 301. Yeah, look at all that booze. Oh, looking at the map. Can I look at the map? Hold on. Wow. Damn. I think this is still the same, but I don't know. Hmm. Something on your mind, Instructor? <laughs> you could say that. I've been mulling over how things are going to be come next month, but all this soul searching is giving me a headache. Well, it'll probably feel strange being back with the guild for the first time in two years. And I'd bet they'll be glad to have you back. Things are probably going to be rough over there, even with you taking up the bracer life again. Hmm. No doubts there. Oh my god, look at all those paperworks over there on her table. Jeez, that's like more work than useless. I can already see plenty of traveling abroad in my future after what happened over in Crossbow. And I imagine it'll keep getting harder and harder for us bracers to operate here, too. <sighs> What's with that sad puppy look? There's no reason for you to feel ashamed of what you've chosen to do. I'm proud to have a student like you who can stand up and make the tough choices life thrusts on us. Thanks, Instructor. I'll try to just grin and bear it for now. That a boy. Sticking it out through the hard times with a smile will put you on the fast track to becoming a great man. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you don't try to shoulder too much. All that'll do is turn you into a jaded grump. Everything in moderation, okay? <laughs> uh, thanks? Wait until the third game. I haven't joined the intelligence division and I have no plans to. Huh. I'm gonna keep responding to their requests, but only if I'm comfortable doing what they're asking. And I can promise you, I'll never do anything that would put me in conflict with the guild or put innocents' lives at risk. Huh. I don't know what the future will bring for me, but that's the creed I want to stand by. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. No matter what happens, you'll always be my student. So go out there, live your life, and grow into such a heartthrob that I won't be able to take my eyes off you. <laughs> well, I'll try. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that'll be like, again, that'll be in the third game because Rain is gonna be a. Uh... Yeah, oh boy. I'm still gonna be at Alyssa. Picking Alyssa. Or Laura, <laughs> but no. It's one of the questions that only time will answer. But I'm looking forward to finding out. As you've chosen your path. Now that's left is to walk it and see where it takes you. 
Uh, can I have one before I end? No. Well, Reen's still a bit underage. I'll do two more. Yep, yep. Malium's room. Still the same. Wow. When we got back. Wait, what the heck? Is that up there? Oh, it's a cat. Yep, that thing's still down there. Sup, dude? <laughs> okay, sorry. What's up, Milliam? Oh, hey, Reen. It's nothing. I just feel kind of down. Huh. Down? Yeah. I was just thinking about how everyone was at dinner time. Sharon's food was really nice, and we all seemed like we were having a good time. But I don't know. It was weird, like we were all upset but didn't want to let it show. It's been bugging me. Uh. Oh, so that's why. You really have grown so much these past few months. And not just mentally. I think you've gotten a little taller too. Uh. Maybe. About two rage or so? Judging by my specs, I'm not going to get much taller than this though. I'm mini million forever and ever. <laughs> what? But you never know. Maybe I'll grow up to have boobies so big, I can use them as a shelf like Emma's! Oh my god. Alright. Okay, I'm back. I Sorry, I didn't mute my mic because I was like laughing so hard and I was coughing at the same time. Sorry about that. Okay, that's hilarious. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Something wrong? But still. Nah, not really. So, you've got a new mission starting next month, right? Huh. Yep, I've got to go see how things are over out west. Well, yeah, she is uh, one of the intelligence division, just like Scarecrow, or Lecter, and... Duke Cayenne's been arrested, but it sounds like things are still pretty nuts over there. Oh, yeah. He... Actually, it's better if he's dead anyways, just in case he does anything stupid again. I hate that guy. Oh, but guess what? I might get to go out to Liberal and Rimiferia soon. Huh, Remy Feria. I never heard of that. What is it with you and blabbing classified information? <laughs> well, whatever. Just promise me you'll take care of yourself. And be sure to keep in touch. I'll always be right there when you need me, okay? Righto, I promise. That goes double for you, mister. If you <laughs> need me to bust you out of a jam, just say the word. Damn. <laughs> Jeez. She always gets in trouble in school, but anyways, um, I guess I'll do one more, and then I will have to end the video, sorry about that. Ah, me, my assassin, oh, Sharon is the, wait, what are you looking, huh, what are you looking at? Oh, is that the seeds? Mm. For the flowers? Are those seeds you've got there? Yeah, it gotta be seeds. Yep, Adel gave them to me. Huh. They all came from the plants we grew in the gardening club. I'm just looking at what kinds there are here. Okay. Really? That's really nice of her. It's kind of like you can take everything you've achieved over the past year with you. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even going to join a club until Adel found me relaxing and invited me. <laughs> But I guess it wasn't so bad. <laughs> oh, there we go again. Yep, the petting thing. Don't you worry. I'll be sure to check on the gardening club every once in a while just to see how things are going. Uh, Reen. It would be a shame if all the plants you've spent so long looking after were to wither and die. It doesn't matter. Even if they do, they'll eventually bloom again somewhere else. Hmm. Kind of like us. When you put it that way... I suppose you're right. Hmm. What's wrong? Nothing. Damn. Hmm. This one and this one should be okay too. We give Reen a handful of seeds. What are these for? They're the easiest ones to look after. <laughs> you can try raising them if you want. Don't worry if they wilt or anything though. Oh. When I found the others from Zephyr, I'll come back and check if they're still blooming. If they are, you get a pat on the head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I thought the head rubbing was my job. Yep. But I'll give it my best shot. Oh. 
Man, everyone part ways, I guess that's why. Give me the button, the Guardian Club 2. Don't even want to picture where my life would be if I hadn't. Damn. So anyways, uh, this is Ray on Trails of Cold Steel number two. Next time, um, well, I'm going to go talk to Lara. Well, this one's Emma, Lara, and Alyssa. Damn, I think I forgot their rooms. Sorry. And then we'll go back to sleep and see what will happen tomorrow. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. And good night. <laughs> good night.